Hello there, I'm in my back garden. It's the Artibis teacher and I'm being a bit lazy today. I couldn't be bothered to go and get my um, iPhone stand and so I'm just holding my mobile phone. So um, we're in lockdown and um, today I've been, um, I got up, I'm getting up a bit later actually. So I'm getting up between seven and eight instead of between six and seven. <laughs> So I got up, I think, about half past seven. Um, I did some work. I did some social media marketing for the Art in the Heart Marketplace. And um, then I had a shower. And then, which seems a bit bizarre, then I decided I was going to do three laps of the park. So that was my daily exercise. I'm trying to do some jogging and running every day. Um, I've got my daughter here, um, she's still in bed, it's gone lunchtime, so she's spending most of the days in bed on her mobile phone at the moment, but um, that will change soon. <laughs> and uh, my lodger is very kindly cleaning a bathroom at the moment. I'm going to do a spot of gardening, and then I'm going to put this... Um, this upload together which you are seeing now so it's a bit wishy-washy but I'm gonna be really practical today uh, so it's it's real hands-on stuff today so I'll see you in a minute Hello there. I have just scurried upstairs to my office because I was just having a, just a little break in the garden. You can't blame me for that. It's such gorgeous weather. And today it's a big surprise because I was a bit all wishy-washy down in the garden. But today I'm actually going to be really practical and I'm going to try and give you artists and makers who really are at sea you know you don't know what to do next and you haven't particularly got um, a shopping cart an online shop and you don't like it very much and I'm just going to show you step by step how to set up a shop online I am going to do that um, so I'm really looking forward to that and I'm afraid I'm going to have to show you how to set up a shop on my site called Art in the Heart. And you say, oh yeah, you only want to market your own shop. Well, I'm sorry, but at least I've got one. <laughs> and it's the only one I've got, and it's the only one I can show you. So it, that is what you're going to get. All right. And I'm going to be showing you the screen. I'm going to be navigating. I'm going to be showing you things like setting up your basic shop with your profile and your banner and your um, biography and then setting up your shipping and then setting up um, uploading products and how you do your images it's going to be a bit of a whistle stop tour but at the moment I'm finding that some of the artists and makers I work with they're actually saying to me Dawn can you do this for me and I'm saying yeah just send me the images and your titles and your prices and a little bit about it and I will set it all up for you. But most of the artists and makers are okay about it and I give, you know, idiots guides <laughs> to all of the different aspects. Um, you know, another thing that I'll be showing you is things like our categories, you know, what are categories and how, why it's really important you put your products in categories and why it's important, you know, that you tag um, your items. That's really good for search, the, the search engines and things like um, what are called attributes and values. That's going a bit more sophisticated at that point, but it will 
get your products to be more visible, if you understand all the details, all the things you can do to actually set up an online shop. I'm just looking at my hair and it's absolutely, I look like the wild woman from Borneo today. <laughs> it's all going to pot. So um, let's go to the screen right now and step on it. So here we are, I'm showing you my computer screen, I'm showing you just a full view of the top of my website. I will scroll down in a moment just to let you see. But the key thing is at the top, you've got login and sign up. So it's it takes two minutes to sign up, okay? So you click on sign up. And there you go and then you get this screen and you can see you register here so you put in your email address you choose a password and it will tell you whether it's a good password or not um, and then um, your first name your last name and your shop name now this doesn't mean to say you've got a shop on the high street or anything is what you want to be called on the website so we're going to have a look at um, Sharon Pugsley Hills shop so she would perhaps call herself Sharon Pugsley Hill art for example okay so what do you want to be known as and then your shop URL will come up automatically so you can use that link in your marketing if this is your store your online store and it will be something like that so it'd be art in the heart.co.uk store and then the name your name and then your phone number and then of course you have to say whether you have read and agree to the terms and conditions they are available on the footer of the website on the home page and then of course what you really need to do is say that you are a vendor obviously we have a privacy policy and then you re you click that and you register so it might then ask you a few more questions I think another minutes worth maximum and then straight away you will appear on there you go our artists and makers you will appear on this page our artists and makers so if we go to that quickly you will see that all these folk have registered all right so that's the one we're going to be looking at today she doesn't know yet but i know she'll be all right about it <laughs> she's about most things so there she is so she will have registered as i've just said there and that's her shop front and she's got loads of goodies on her shop front there you go isn't that amazing so i'm going to give you a whistle stop tour um around the website so these are our menus um spring and easter i kept that category up because we're still in spring and then i've created lockdown things to do so we've got some nice origami books and a children's book on that so that's lovely uh, what we call big brands now there's other people got to go on this but at the moment we've got Susie Lidston through these eyes Sharon Puxley Hill uh, we've got gifts we've got cards and stationery we've got jewelry accessories we've got homewares art and craft occasions Personalised commissions. Now these are commission ideas that we've got two at the moment. Sharon will do a commission and also Rowena Roberts and we've got another, oh, I should think, oh, I don't know, three or four to add to that. And then I've just done Art for Collectors and we've got Katya Chimachenko and Lucinda Denning. But everybody has a basic storefront and then they can go in these categories if they're eligible for those as well and then of course what i've just shown you the artists and makers so if we scroll down here 
we've got banners and then we've got other things here that I like to highlight. So the latest products, if you want to sell with us, that buy, that will link to the artist and makers page again. We do other services for um, artists. That goes to the commissions page, the personalised commissions, and that goes to the big brands page, and I've already shown you those on the um, the categories at the top men on the top menu, and then we've got a calendar. Well, that's not doing very well at the moment because everything's been cancelled, of course. And then we do all the links. I need to change those around. Actually, I've not quite got up. I've not quite got to that because there's so much to do all the time. So let's say that you've you've signed up now and you're appearing on the Artists and Make page. So you won't have anything on there. It will be completely blank. So it looks a bit of an eyesore at the moment on that Artists and Make page because you haven't got a banner, you haven't got your profile, you haven't got anything. Okay, so you click on login because now I'm going to do a whistle stop tour. You log in, there you go, username and email address and password. Okay, so you've created a username when you registered and you created a password. Okay, so you need to do that. So I logged in. And I've actually logged in because I'm, I'm like the gatekeeper, so I can log in as anybody. <laughs> so I've actually logged in because I want to show you a full shop. I don't want to go from scratch. So uh, there we go. You've got a vendor dashboard and it's Sharon Pugsley Hills. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how she set up her shop. OK, so you this is your dashboard this is what's called your dashboard okay so there we go vendor dashboard what do you have to do first of all well you notice you've got help guides that's brilliant you've got your dashboard there and you've got your settings so the first thing you do is you go to your settings okay and what you will see is this so you need to upload your banner here. Okay, so that's the banner that um, Sharon has uploaded. And the measurements are given there. If you have problems with that, you just need to contact us because there are some artists that struggled with, <laughs> with that. And then your bio. There you go, that's Sharon's. That's her profile picture. And she'll have 20 products on a page it's always best to have multiples of four because there's four rows four columns sorry so it it works out nicely and then we've got other things and also you can um say you want to go on vacation or you can close your store temporarily but what i say really avoid closing your store just increase your waiting time for your products because if you're just going for a week there's no point in closing your store it's too too short and you just say that it's going to take you a week to handle the products or whatever so you know just be careful about that um don't don't jeopardize your sales and then of course you click on that to update your settings all right so on the left hand side you can see your settings and i've clicked now so there's your store okay you can go through it that's what we've just done payment so you put in your well you can put your bank details there because we actually don't use paypal now we do everything by bank pay, payments by bank transfer or you can send those to us independently really important is your shipping so you set up your shipping right away so how much are you going to charge for your shipping and we use this method here so you click here and it will tell you on your instructions so enable functionality you have to tick that and then sharon has decided that she's going to charge another two pounds postage if she's got an extra product 
and another two pounds if she's got um, per quantity. So one's per product, an um, additional price. So she's done one to three days to process. She's got a shipping policy, refund policy. She's shipping from United Kingdom and she's decided that she's doing free shipping for the UK and everywhere else she's going to charge £15. Now, you can set as many places as you want um, on the shipping. So if we were to add a location, we can add a location. So we might want to make it a bit more comprehensive. So you select a location and you just, uh, all the countries are there, every possible country. If you want to actually um, add countries, you can. Um, you must make sure, and this is just general pricing, that you don't make a loss. So you can incorporate shipping costs into your general prices. And also, if you've got lots of light things and then you've got a few heavy things, when you upload your heavy products, there is a facility where you can override what we call this default shipping setting. And we'll be showing you that um, later. Okay, so social profile we don't do because we do all this we do all the social media, we do all the digital media marketing and the SEO. We you can do that if you want to, but we're not going to go through that today. But the main thing here is store, payment and shipping. That's it. Okay? So now we're going to go back to the dashboard. So on the left hand side you've got your dashboard settings and you've got all your help guides so everything I'm telling you it's all there in your help guides and you can see all these things dashboard products orders events coupons reports reviews withdrawal settings so I'm going to just look at some of these today and to be aware as well that you can click here but your dashboard is also available at the top. Can you see the vendor dashboard at the top of your screen? So I'm going to click there so you can see help guides dashboard. Right, so I'm gonna do a whistle stop tour now uh, on pr setting up your product. So we've set up your store now with your shipping, your banner, your profile picture, and your biography and now we're going to go into products okay so you just click on products there we go and there we have it so there we go so Sharon's got loads of products set up so what she would have done originally she would have gone to the top of this screen and can you see that add new product she would have clicked on that i'm just going to show you what that looks like there you go it's all blank isn't that lovely so but i am going to show you this so you put your product name here here we go we've got various things here um so it could be, um, you know, Seascape One Buy. And we always have to put who the item is by because it's run on menus, um, product menus, and not necessarily artist name. So we need to put the name of the artist. You upload a product. Okay, so we just click on that so you can see. And there's your library. There's the media, there's Sharon's media library. She's uploaded all those products. Uh, but you know, you can upload your files. There you go. And select file. And then that'll go to my computer actually. Oh, I'm on Lucinda's page. Oh, lovely. So say if I wanted to upload one of these pictures, you know, I'll just click on it and then open it. Sorry, Sharon, I'm putting that on your... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
can you see it uploading into my media library? There it is. There she is. Okay. And then there she is, Sharon. And then we are set that set featured product. And there it is. So then you put your price there. And then here you can put other pictures, which I recommend. And then you select your categories. So we think um, art and craft, that would be a good one. So you find paintings, for example, but there's loads, there's loads of categories, loads of categories. So let me just show you that again, all the categories. And you can look, you can put them in more than one category and that then that will put your product in the menus that I've shown you at the beginning. Look at all these. And then what we do, we put tags, we can put tags. So if your tag's not there, it'll auto-generate it, put as many tags and then a short description about the product. So. Um, oil on canvas, original painting, size, whatever. Something very, very, very short. And then we are ready to create our product. There you go. Oh, product title. <laughs> Sorry about that because it's, I'm actually really doing it. So I'll just put, I'll just put that. Okay. And then I just put test. I'm going to have to delete this pretty soon because otherwise, um, there you go. Create product. A creating product. Oh, at least one category. <laughs> it's not letting me go on and say it's a Mother's Day or you know. I'll just put one in. So it won't let you carry on. Got about that. There we go. We're creating the product. That's going to go on the website. So I'll have to get that off as soon as possible. Um, it's creating the product. So the product is created. And this is what the screen looks like. So you've got um, your price there. You will have put your price in there. Category. Tags will have been done. You'll have your short description. And then we go into a little bit more detail. So you don't have to do your long description, but very expensive items. It, it's an idea to do that because people won't buy expensive items if you haven't got lots of detail about it. Um, things like inspiration and such like. So you can do an SKU, that means a code. So I usually say, well, your artist initials, and then perhaps number one, number two, or a, a shortened version of the name of the, the piece. You can do product manage, stock management. So you might want to put, if you're selling a lot of things, the stock quantity, and then it'll go down when people buy them. You can do things on commission, so allow back order, orders. If it's an original piece, there's only one, allow only one quantity of this product to be bought in a single order. Um, then just going down, I'm just going to scroll down. Then we've got shipping and tax we leave out because we've already set our shipping, but say we've done all light products and our shipping is only, you know, a fiver or free or something, then there you go. You can override your shipping. So how much more is that going to cost you to send? So if you've suddenly got a heavy item and you want to override your default shipping, you can do it there. You can go into as much detail as you want. You can upsell your other products so they will appear on that product or you can cross sell your product. So what do, are you selling that's similar that people might want to look at? It's all there. And then really good is attributes, because what that does, it actually um, gives filters on the left-hand side, what we call filters. So 
I've put in colour material. You only do colour if it's a really obvious colour, like a scarf that's red. You know, people might be looking for a scarf that's red or a painting that's essentially, you know, overarching like blue and beige, but otherwise blue, but otherwise you don't have to list colours. It's a waste of time. Material or medium might be interesting, like silver, gold, you know, jewellery, things like that. Um, subject interest. So that's quite a good one. So, you know, if people like, say, Sharon might want to do this. So she'll put subject interest. So she wants to do that attribute. So she clicks on that and she adds that attribute, subject interest. There it goes. And then she's going to say, well, what is the the, the interest so she might want to do um, flowers for example there you go and then she can go back and she can do another custom attribute if she wants to so type that means what is the actual thing so let's add that attribute so she will decide that, let me just bring that down, I'm scrolling down. She might decide that um, that is, I think we've got, uh, you can start typing it actually. It's, um, there you go, original painting. She might have uploaded an original painting, for example. And so if you go into things like Christmas and then you can get your filters on the left hand side of the home page and think, oh, yeah, Christmas. Oh, yes. What about an original painting or what about a necklace? And you can search on filters at the side as well. So, you know, a lot of artists are having difficulty with this. And that's it, really that's it really um and then you save your product so let's click we've done it all save the product and there we go so there you go the product has been saved successfully and i'm going to delete that because it's just a test product and it'll be it'll be um <laughs> on work it'll come up in the page what's new and it'll also be in Sharon's shop so that's not going to be very good so I'm going to just quickly get rid of that now I'm going to go back into products okay it's out of stock I didn't put it in stock there we go I'm going to delete now just so that because Sharon will be saying I've got a test come on my There we go. So we're deleting that now. There it is, it's gone. And I'm going to show you now one of Sharon's um, uploads. Okay, so here we go. So here you go, she's abided by the rules. The Flowers of Mallorca, original painting by Sharon Pugsley Hill. It's a simple product, that means it's not downloadable or it's it's not, it's just the one product. Um, categories, there's her categories, there's her main picture, but she's done other pictures as well, which is great. Um, categories, um, also tags, loads of tags, well done Sharon. Short description. Uh, longer description, Sharon's really good at these actually because she's really into inspiration and stories so there's quite a lot there for you to get your teeth into um, some of it is, you know, she'll copy and paste as well uh, that she'll say on all of her products um, she's got an SKU, one in, uh, one in stock, that's fine shipping and tax she's not done an override because she includes in the price and a bit more for abroad and then i suppose she incorporates everything into her cost of her painting and look oh look she's done quite a lot of the attributes there color material medium subject interest 
and type. So there you go. She's been very comprehensive in the listing of that particular product. So that's it, folks. We've done the two main things, which is setting up your store and uploading a product. And I haven't asked, um, haven't asked Sharon if I can include this, but I hope she's not going to mind. I hope that's helped you. It was a little bit quick. Um, but, you know, I do, I do have to limit it a bit. If you are interested in um, signing up with us, then just go to artintheheart.co.uk and um, you can register, as I've shown you. And then I will get in touch with you and tell you what to do next. I'd like you to upload two of your products and set up your shop so I can have a little look. But the main things are the products so I can see whether your products really fit in with, with what Art in the Heart do. Um, and yeah, subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to make it relevant in times of lockdown for you. Um, I'm trying to make it relevant for you. I'm trying to make it relevant for myself as well. <laughs> I'm keeping going. I'm keeping going. So uh, thank you for listening. Subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye.